What's up everyone? Dem Boys back at it here to talk about Madden 21 and what we know so far. So I'm going to tell you what we know so far. I'll give you a little bit that I might like, a little bit that I might be concerned about with it, and then also how you might see that put into practice in Madden 21. So first thing that I wanted to talk about was gameplay. Then we'll move from there. They talked about skill stick, which is just them combining all of the juke moves onto the joystick and you know hopefully it cleans it up a bit so what i might like about it is i do you know like having it all on the stick as opposed to hitting b to spin and then coming over to the stick to do different things i you know never really understood that you know what concerns me is if it's not cleaned up because you can kind of do that now but if it's not really precise you know you could end up spinning when you're trying to juke or going juke then spin and you weren't trying to you, you know so that's going to be my concern as far as how it's put into practice i don't know that it changes the gameplay overall that much honestly um, most people at a higher level are going to be playing on conservative you know i don't think it's going to make it easier per se to juke or to spin what they're trying to do, I think, is allow you to string them together in combos, which is going to nuke your, you know, I imagine nuke your stamina. So, that's not a big deal, I don't think. The next thing they talked about I do have some concerns about, <clears throat> um, more than upside, is now having specific defensive rush moves. So, if you use a defensive lineman, now we can just choose power or finesse. Well, you're going to actually be able to choose specific pass rush moves to do. Um, they said that, you know, you will have the offensive lineman kind of build up a resistance to the same move over and over again. Because they're going to, you know, be intelligent. I don't know if awareness is going to play into that as much or if it's you know, how they're going to implement that. That could be a concern is how do we put that together uh, and decide that. Um what could be good about it, I guess, is if you're not as good at Madden, it may give you a way to be able to compete a little more without having to use her around the defense. What I don't like about that, and what concerns me, is it's the flip side of the same coin. If you're not good enough to use her and cover somebody, do we need a game that's going to potentially bail you out? Well, I don't know that it'll be OP enough to make a difference by the end of the game, but you could see some frustration there. Now, where I think it really will be put into practice is in squads. You know, I don't know if we're going to see the last year put on aggressive and have all three users sit on that defensive line on aggressive and go to town, right? That was kind of a glitch in squads. They took away aggressive pass rush. Well, does this end up kind of bringing that back? And what happens if somebody has three defensive linemen with ridiculous pass rush moves and all that, you know, chemmed out, abilityed out, uh, and they sit there and, and get good at doing that? Is that going to really diminish the quality of squads play the same way the aggressive pass rush did? Potentially so. So next, I want to talk about location-based tackles they're calling it. This... I am so happy for I have no concerns uh, I am only stoked it's about time so I was just talking to a buddy the other day I ran into the end zone I had to take a tight angle to avoid the pursuit my feet were in bounds the ball was in the left hand it says no touchdown there is not a player ever 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 who is going to get his feet into the end zone and hold the ball over the outside of the pylon so they don't get in the end zone they're in fact going to do the opposite. They're going to reach the ball into the end zone or out for the first down or whatever it is. So now they're going to add that into the gameplay. Now, they said, the wording is important. They said clutch up for a first down. So you're going to see the defenders try to counter the reach and you're going to see the reach. Now, clutch up for a first down is a very interesting choice of wording. What that tells me is that the clutch trait is going to be important for that. So like wide receivers fighting for first downs, clutch I think is going to be important. And then on the flip side of the coin, if they're clutch, does that then stop them or counter? Uh, you know, I don't know. 
that's going to be something we'll have to see, but traits will definitely play a part in that. The wording was too weird and specific for that not to mean something. The next thing they mentioned is 50 new abilities. You heard that right, unless you thought I said 15. 5 0, 50, 50 new abilities. I don't know that we have, I'm not going to count, I don't know that we have 50 abilities currently. Um, maybe about that, but holy cow, that is a huge undertaking from a programming standpoint. So I guess what I like about it is from a gameplay standpoint, it could extend the amount of time you have with the game before you get bored with it, you know, or it just gets stale because you're going to have a whole lot of new stuff to try and to tinker with for those of us, you know, out here putting out content like me. Well, that's great, right? That's 50 new abilities that I can explore and continue to give you guys content about. So there's definitely some pluses to it. What concerns me is abilities are pretty OP. If we don't tune these abilities back a touch and add 50 new abilities, are players going to start with more ability slots? Are we going to allow four players with abilities? I ask these questions because... If you don't have abilities to counter certain abilities, you may end up losing to people who are nowhere near as good as you or just maybe not quite as good as you simply because of team construction. Now, in salary cap, that's part of the game. You know, in weekend league and everything, people spend a ton of money. You know, but is it possible that we really end up with just so many abilities that it's like, well, heck, I got to put defensive abilities to counter this ability, then I see someone with this. So again, it maybe closes the skill gap a bit and people are losing a little more games or winning more games that they shouldn't. That's really my concern. And it always has been with abilities. And again, the people who use the abilities, the best rise to the top, and those are going to be the best players because they find ways to utilize the tools of the game better than anyone else. Um, but I do think online it could make things a little bit wonky. You know, are we going to go to arcade You know, I... <laughs> That's why I like salary cap mode now. You moss me, I want to break my controller. Now, granted, I should just send nine people at you. Right, there's a counter. So, always things to consider, guys. So, that'll go ahead and cover really what we know for sure about Madden 21. Uh, August 28th release date. Uh, as things come out here, it looks like they're going to start doing some podcasts and some things, shows on Twitch about it. Uh, June 26th, starting. So... As updates come out and things I think are important, make sure you stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, because I will continue to keep you up to date with anything that we know that y'all need to know. So, them boys, like, comment, most importantly, smash that subscribe button, head over to Facebook, Madden Genius, that's the group, community of people helping people, asking questions, answering questions. Get over there now to get ready for Madden 21. Because leading up to Madden 21, it's going to be hopping over there because nobody knows nothing. <laughs> We're all going to be helping each other learn. So please go do that for your own benefit, alright? We're all going to help each other. Damn boys, peace.